trying to take off this mic. There we go. Now you can see the wife a little bit better. <laughs> Say good morning. Good morning. There you go. Looks a little muggy out there today, and it really is a little muggy out there today. Yeah, it's like, what was it, like 20? 20, 23. 23 degrees, and it feels like 32 or something yeah. like that. It's super humid out here today, it's like 92 humidity. That's crazy. But anyways, we are just starting our day, and it is a good day. Although we had to idle our truck last night, but uh, what can you do? That's the way it goes. My APU unit, the alternator is shot, so can't really uh, run the APU unit, so I gotta be able to sleep, so we had to idle the truck. Don't really like it, but what can you do? But anyways, we are making our way to our delivery place, yeah. Should be there just after 9 o'clock, probably about 9.30. Could have probably been there a lot earlier, but eh, don't really feel like it. <laughs> Felt like whatever, let's take her easy today. Our reload don't pick up till noon anyway, so I figured, well, it's only about maximum about an hour drive to get there, so... Well, we'll just take her easy today and go down there for 12 o'clock, I guess. And because I've been at this place before where I deliver to right now. And they usually don't take long to get you unloaded. Maybe half an hour, that's usually it. But they're usually pretty quick, in and out. So, uh, I know it ain't going to take me very long over there, so... So yeah, we got about 80 more miles to go and we'll be at our delivery, so let's have ourselves a fantastic day, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, joining us in today on my show. So let's have ourselves a fantastic day. Well, guys, we are only about five more miles away from our delivery place. Yes, indeed. I just saw the other Penner truck that uh, was there at the same place as we picked up and and uh, I guess he just left. He just finished unloading there, so yeah, that means uh, they got an empty spot now for me. <laughs> yeah, nice little highway down here. It's a little bit on the back roads, but uh, hey, it's nice and hilly up here, beautiful sceneries. Yep, but yeah, so we will be making our delivery here in a few minutes. That would be nice to get this load off and go down to uh, our reload. And hopefully that ain't going to take too long to get reloaded. Hopefully they're not going to be too picky either. It's supposed to be some kind of pet product, so hopefully they, uh, I know that's like, just like human food, right? They, they're usually pretty picky when it comes to food products, so... Trailer has got to be super clean and odor-free and all that kind of stuff, so... So we'll see. We'll see what happens, but... Anyways, we are just about to do our delivery. Alright, guys. We delivered our load. Yes, indeed, we did. And we went down to our pickup already. They said they were just getting ready to go uh, for lunch. So guess what? We said, well, if you guys are going for lunch, may as well. We go as, uh, go to lunch as well, eh? Yeah, look at that. We took some chicken breasts along. And the wife cooked some chicken breasts. So we're going to have uh, some chicken sandwiches. Yes, indeed. So let's have a bite to eat. And let's see how good it is really going to be. All right, guys. We have got loaded now. US 61, US 62 Sikaston. For us, the lucky thing is literally a mile down the road here, there's a love truck stop. They do have a scale in there. We're on our way down there to go scale it right now. Yes, indeed. I kind of think we're not going to be able to make this load legal. Because when I looked in the box there, it's way too 
too much to the front loaded. I think they loaded it way too much to the front. So I highly doubt it if we're going to be able to make it legal, but we're going to scale it anyways. And uh, if we can't make it legal, we're just going to have to go back. Simple as that. That's the only way we can do it is legally. That's what we have to do. In Although this, uh, take the entrance to the right on US 60 bus, US 61, US 62, Sakaston, and then turn left. Truck and stop is not really in the GPS, but uh, the guys told us about it when we uh, got there first to get loaded that it is over here. So we went down here, and sure enough, it's right there. So in 1000, and they do have a cat scale in here. South Main Street. US 60 BR and then so turn left in we'll go ahead and scale it. We'll see if we can get legal here. I sled my trailer axle almost to the front already just because I know it's heavy in the front. So let's go find out and see what happens. But I highly doubt it if we're gonna be able to make it legal. Yeah. Anyways, we'll go do our thing here and then uh We'll see you guys a little bit later. Well guys, we got good news for you guys. As well as it is good news for me. But uh, our uh, load was lighter it's than what it says on the bill in my opinion. It says we are sitting at 44,300 and somewhat pounds. And uh, I thought for sure if that was the weight, I knew I was going to be overweight and when we scaled it, I was only sitting at a gross of 74,000 and change. I can be at 80,000 pounds and I was only at 32,900 on the drives, so I was still over a thousand pounds light. So I uh, was able to fuel her up, rescale her. Perfect. So I slid one hole forward on the trailer, and I was a little bit over 32 on the trailer, 33,300 and something on the uh, drives. And so we are good to go. Yes, indeed we are. Continue on this road. That makes me happy, miles. happy, happy. Because that means now I have a full tank of fuel. I can put the hammer down and I can make it all the way home with this fuel without having to worry about fueling. So that is fantastic news. Yes, indeed. I'm very happy about it. it took him about two hours to, a little over two hours, I think, to get us loaded. But uh, hey, that's all right. Still got loaded and that's all that matters. It's really hot down here, but uh, <laughs> we got AC, but the AC here in the front don't work super well, but hey, that's what we have to deal with it. We have to learn to live with it. That's all we can do. But at least now we're loaded and down the road again. Yes, indeed. We're going to Winnipeg. We got 1146 miles to go. I think we will be in Winnipeg Saturday afternoon. I really do think that's when we're going to be down there. I mean, we can still drive a few hours yet today. Well, we could, you know, get quite a few hours in yet today if we really pushed her. We can go till quarter to ten tonight. We started quarter to eight this morning and we have 14 hours to get our hours in so we could actually get a number of hours in yet today but we'll see how far we push it tonight but then we got a full day tomorrow yet yes indeed and then uh, we will do the rest on Saturday yes indeed we got 141 miles to St. Louis We'll get there exactly in rush hour probably, but oh well, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. 
So let's get on down the road and uh, see what happens. Well guys, we are now coming back into St. Louis, Missouri. Yes, indeed we are. Yeah, looks like traffic is moving pretty good so far. We did come to a standstill there earlier. It was just more or less a uh, little bit of a back up there. And didn't really see anything, but uh, they said there was something there, but we didn't see nothing. So we just cruise right along here then. But yeah, it is definitely a hot day out here. That is a fact. Oh yeah. Nice and sunny though. It really is. And we're gonna try and Uber over well into this next lane. I don't wanna be exiting, so we gotta get over into this lane yet. But yeah, we've been driving for a little bit now and Let's see how uh, Louis will or Louis, Saint Louis is going to treat us today. Let's see if we can get through here. We've been pretty lucky. Yesterday it was pretty good. Today so far is pretty good. So let's keep our good luck up, right? That's the plan, anyways. Yes, indeed. We haven't quite decided yet on where we're going to stop for the night, but hey, we. We're free. We basically can do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah, we could probably stop right now if we wanted to and continue on tomorrow. But yeah, well, I think I'm going to drive for a little bit before we quit today. We haven't done that many miles yet today. Only about, not even 300 miles yet. 448 kilometers. 500 kilometers is about 310 miles, so... Well, it looks like there is a bit of a traffic there on the... on the other side there, so we could see some a little bit back up yet. We're not excluded yet. Although we are kind of on the edge of St. Louis, so... We're not really in town. So for us, it might be okay. But then again, what do we know, right? We'll see, it's perfect timing right now for rush hour traffic. It's like 5.23 in the afternoon. So it's a perfect time to have some traffic, that's for sure. Ooh, this four-wheeler just about hit me there. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but looks like he has already ripped off his passenger mirror. Probably from not paying attention. We just about went underneath my trailer. Oh well. Luckily he didn't. But anyways, we'll continue cruising here and see what happens. It looks like that we are just about finished with our day. Yes indeed. We were going to go a little bit further to the Fly and J, which was only about 15 more minutes of driving. But then we were just checking on the one app that we have that uh, people can update on that app uh, whether or not that lot is full or not. And they were updating uh, 11 minutes ago that uh, the lot is full. So we're not going to attempt to even try and go there and trying to see if we can get a parking spot there. So there's another truck stop here about 15 minutes before that. And that one, uh, as of six minutes ago, they said there's plenty of parking spots there. So we're gonna go give that a shot. We're only about 2.5 miles from it. So uh, we'll see if we get lucky to find us a spot over there. I mean, it is almost eight o'clock already, like only three minutes to eight right now, so. So yeah, it's starting to get a little later, but it's not super late yet to where, you know, there ain't gonna be no parking, but I know on this road, it's not too many places out here, so, uh, so yeah, you gotta find the parking spot. That's always the challenge. But we'll see if we get lucky here at this little mom and pop truck stop. 
It says there's only 20 truck spots available there and the last person that updated it said there was plenty of parking spots there so we'll see how plenty of that could be with 20 parking spots. <laughs> Anyways, we have had a good day so far. Still managed to get some miles in. I mean, not crazy miles, but we got some miles in and that's all that matters. And then we still have like 860 miles to go for tomorrow or not till tomorrow for tomorrow. But what I mean is to Winnipeg. So we'll get there uh, Saturday sometime. But... In one mile. Keep yeah. To the right on US 61 mile. BRMOP camp. We ought to take our exit to go to our truck stop. Yes, indeed. So let's go find out and see what happens, right? Well, guys, we have made it over to the truck stop. Yeah, we've been here for a couple of hours already, I think. But, uh, yeah, we still uh, have lots of parking over here. Let's open this window up a little bit. But, yeah, there's a bunch of parking over here yet still. Beside me, there is, like, three parking spots more down the road there but uh yeah plenty of parking up here at this truck stop we went down the road here a little bit to a restaurant there and had us a bite to eat we had a massive steak didn't we <laughs> yeah how about this big <laughs> but hey it was a buffet and they had uh, they had steak and shrimp so that was their uh, special for tonight Yes, indeed it was. So I didn't have no shrimp, but we had a steak. And we could eat all we wanted off of the buffet, right? So we, we managed to get full. Pretty full, actually. But uh, yeah, it's uh, our day is over with. So we I hope you guys appreciated our video today. If you did, leave me a big like button there. Click that like button. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to our channel and you love what you see, hit that subscribe button there in the corner. We would love to have you on board and follow our daily journey, guys. Yes, indeed. So stick around for tomorrow. We'll see what we will be up to tomorrow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, there we go. So good night, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. behind me that day is gonna come